Hello and welcome back. Today you're going to learn how to open up a PowerPoint slideshow and give a presentation. This is very similar to a Google slideshow. You're just locating the file in a different area. And so once you locate your PowerPoint slideshow, you'll see the first slide here and you can come down to the lower toolbar and click where it looks like a movie screen and you click on slideshow or you can click on the top tab button that says slideshow and you can start from the beginning. Okay, so today my presentation is going to be on Bangladesh talking a little bit about cross-cultural communication behaviors. My name is Deborah Mears and welcome to my presentation. Okay, now when I'm giving this presentation, I'm going to use this show as a reminder of decisions that you need to make for your PowerPoint project. So you're going to decide if you're going to work alone with a partner or on a team, where you're going to choose a country, not your own, how you're going to choose your method of presentation, which could be a PowerPoint, a research, similar to a book report, making a poster board, using the overhead projector, or a game like Jeopardy. When you have to choose when, or where, when and where you will meet with your partner or your team. And which, choose your own rubric, how you want to be evaluated. And that will be either by your classmates, a self-evaluation, or your instructor. The basic part one. Okay, we have the basics, part one. On this slide, you can see I have a lot of information. This is way too much information for you to use. Your audience will be reading the screen and not listening to you. So maybe pick one or two items on here, talking about greetings or communication style. Okay, I'm going to the next slide. Basics, part two. Personal space. So I have a hyper, what we call a hyperlink. I put in the website address here. So I will click on that and it'll take me to the culture crossing. This is where I got my information on Bangladesh. And I'm not going to read this, but I'll just highlight the points talking about that an arm's length or more of personal space is usually how they communicate in a formal way in, in, in business situations members of the same sex, it's okay to hold hands or touch the arm. The younger people tend to be more Western in their approach. Okay, let me go back to my show here. And in eye contact, I have a personal experience that in Bangladesh we do not look at anyone for long periods of time. This is showing respect. Basics part three. It's considered a taboo or if you kiss or hug in public or if you demonstrate loud behavior or you give or receive anything with your left hand. Now, like in the United States, it's okay when we do some teamwork activities and we hold hands. These gestures are not as acceptable in Bangladesh. And the business part, comparing and contrasting the differences and similarities. So I'll show you the difference between the United States and Bangladesh. I'm also going to be talking about the other items, how they dress, gift giving, meetings, and negotiations. Class rules and socializing. So I'm going to give you information similar to giving a book report. Now I'm at the end of my presentation. I always leave time for my audience. Does anyone have any questions? Thank you very much for your attention. Have a great day.